inevitably there is tension no matter how great a fighter you are no matter perhaps even the expected strength of the opponent there is always worry there is always tension there is an undercurrent of fear it's how you handle that fear Clyde Patterson once said every time I walk in I wonder how it's going to be when I'm coming in I think most fighters feel exactly that way we are now awaiting the bell for the start of the fight and there it is that's it a delay in coming out the fighters did not hear the bell quickly they are in ring center now see that back foot of kenny norton's that delimits his hoop, his ability to move around to the left, to the right. Gets effective against Dali. Mayung, looking cautious. The leads are expected to come from Kenny Norton. Just the start of things. First round action. In the first fight tonight, Sugar Ray Leonard looked impressive, stopping the Mexican for Justine Estrada. Second fight, Jerry Quarry stops Lorenzo Zanone, coming from nowhere to do it in a simply terrible fight. Zanone scored almost at will with his left all the way. Jerry, quite frankly, in his comeback effort, looked like a sack of flour. But suddenly, Zanone fell from what appeared to be glancing blows. But this is first round action. Norton to the left of your screen, Young to the right, in the white trunks. A minute and 20 seconds into the first round. And he said he would go to the belly. To get to the belly, weaken the fighter, the head must follow. That's Kenny's clear. kind of fighter whom it's difficult to score in a fight Kenny with a quick left he makes the opponent usually look bad Kenny again missing with the right Kenny says he kicked Young out of his training camp Young says no the story's not true Jimmy was Kenny's sparring partner before Kenny's second fight against Dolly we've got about 30 seconds left in a very uneventful round one. The lead moves being made by Norton, but nobody really doing it. Norton again has another right. There, you saw Young with the quick counter-punching combination. That's the Young style. And he with a left. Lower right-hand corner of your screen. You see us counting down to the end of round one. Just underway. We're live from Caesars Palace, Las Vegas, Nevada. Scheduled 15 round to Kenny Norton, the left of your screen, Jimmy Young, the right. The first round, uneventful, feeling out process. Score it even. No edge really to either fight. Though Kenny did most of the leading, a quick flash of counter punching by Jimmy, but no damage done by either man. Kenny trying to use what he thinks is superior body strength on the inside to all Jimmy Young. for the surprise that Jimmy Young was talking to me about in the interview. Oops, early. Well, one minute into round two. Maybe the surprise is that Kenny Norton hasn't come out bombing. In discussing this fight with Jerry Quarry, Quarry said to me, Howard, the thing will be decided in the first three rounds. Norton will come out bombing. If he can't put Young away, he's in trouble. Norton has not come out bombing. some 
real action. They'd be looking a long time. Based upon style. There's Jimmy with the right to the belly, the left to the head, and the counter punches. What Norton has to look out for, Jimmy getting in with the left. Makes you look bad. may have been hurt just a bit with those blows. May have been. 45 seconds left in round two. Young guys Norton up. Pinioned against the ropes, Norton coming at him, Young ties him up. Young knows all the tricks. Maybe he's not a boxer, but a mover. As Jimmy Norton distinguishes the two. But look at Jimmy Young right there. He knows what he's about within the four corners of a ring. Clever fighter. We approach the end of round two. We'll have a commercial break. Round three just underway. Kenny Norton, the blue trunks, is back to you. Jimmy Young, the white trunks. Second round, I gave a slight edge to Jimmy Young. At one point, he appeared to have stung Norton with combinations, and that seemed to be confirmed as Norton shook his head while in his corner. Still Slayton, the trainer, working in Norton's corner with Enoch Yip on cuts, and Eddie Jones and Earl McClure over there. Carlos Padilla, the third man in the ring, breaking up the clinch between Norton and Young. Young's corner is manager Ray Kelly, Wally Perkins is trainer. Mickey Grant and Eddie on the hook. right there, with a good right lead and then a left in combination. An opposite combination, and Norton seems stunned again. Norton confused about how to handle Jimmy Young. is really a confusing fighter to the opponent, Jimmy Young. And Young is not confounded, at least up to this point, by the Norton style, the way Muhammad Ali has been through three fights. In fact, Young capitalizes on Norton's absence of movement to the left and right, as you just saw. Now you see Young again. Tactically, this is an interesting fight. It may not be in terms of action, but it's interesting tactically. Kenny trying to get into the body exactly as he told us he would, but Young with the right uppercut. Young missing there. Flashing left of Jimmy's. Kenny pursuing, lagging that back foot. Young going down to the midsection. Young with the left jab, clicking. Sticking all the time, moving around now. Walking away, using the 20-foot rank. Young again with the right lead. Kenny is keeping his left low, as you can see there. Lays him open for the right lead. Yes, Jimmy Young knows how to fight. Norton's a tough cut. Long way to go. Remember, Foreman came from nowhere in the seventh round and had Young ready to go. Couldn't capitalize, had him ready to go. Norton can do the same thing. Norton with the left. Norton out, beginning to try to unload. Counting down. So at the end of the third round, we'll have another commercial break. Four just underway. Slight mouse developing under Kenny Norton's left eye. Kenny registering some of his confusion to Bill Slayton as trainer between rounds. Kenny crouching. Coming at Young. Trying to get to the stomach. Best raised 
Jimmy Young, but produce crowd reaction. Kenny growing more aggressive. And than he really is. See how low that left is? The right is up, tucked under the chin, but the left is as quick left to cut in another. The third was picked off by Kenny's glove. Jimmy is keeping that right cock. Finding a target. It's become an effective weapon. We're in the fourth round. Schedule 15 round. Unless, as Jimmy Young put it, in the pre-fight interview, he can bust Norton up. It's not the truth, figure to knock Kenny out. Although he did floor George Foreman. to the midsection, another right to the midsection, and that's what he's working on. Then Kenny covered up with the gloves in front of the face. Again to the belly and scoring with it. And again to the belly. Jimmy Young with the quick combination. And enough. The action picks up in this round. We're counting down to the end of the round. Kenny coming upstairs with the left and getting it in. Jabbing left. Not powerful, but scoring. Kenny Norton, who's a tough touch. Coming to the end of round four. Live, Caesars Palace, Las Vegas, Nevada. Round number five, Young against Norton. A tactical fight thus far. I've scored it, a subjective, personal, two rounds for Young, one round for Norton, and one round even. Kenny came on in the fourth round. He been a frustrated, confused fighter, or so it seemed to me, but he started scoring to the midsection, and he just landed a good left jab. In the fourth round, he started making his battle plan work with blows to the body. He started getting more aggressive. He did not come out bombing at the start of the fight. He told us you'll remember that he knows young Dan Hurt. Missed. It brought crowd reaction, but it missed. Range fighter Jimmy Young. So difficult to score a fight that he is fighting. Because he is not an offensive fighter. At the end of this round, we're going to try give our stations a station break. We'll watch developments in the round. Kenny off balance. Young making a kind of strong motion. Norton missing wildly and off balance. But Young didn't capitalize on it. He laid back in his manner and made that motion you saw. Kenny up there with the left jab. Again, that Norton left down by his stomach. Right there, though, Norton came back and landed with his own right and left. And Norton going to the midsection. Norton going with that left. We've got 50 to go. Norton very much the aggressor now, though he missed. And Jimmy back with the counterpoint. Crowd yelled, but Jimmy did not connect with the right. He did connect with the several lefts. We must not judge these blows by crowd reaction. down the lower right hand corner of your screen this is the fifth round young was hurt by kenny north no question about it kenny pursuing young holding on
Tommy coming on strong. We'll be back with more exclusive coverage of the Norton Young heavyweight fight after this from our local station. Round six, live from Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh, how Kenny Norton came alive in that fifth round. His battle plan beginning to work. He's going to the belly and then coming up with a left to Young's right jaw. That really hurt Jimmy Young, though he didn't go down. You could see he was hurt. So now, sixth round action. You can almost see Kenny Norton growing in confidence. And Young, who didn't expect to be beat up on, is getting beat up on with that blow to the midsection. The right side of his belly, and he's beginning to feel it. How those blows accumulate. Punishment. There's a right by Jimmy Young. Didn't land squarely, or rather by Kenny Norton. Didn't land squarely, but hit Young on the left jaw, down near the neck. Jimmy sticking to his scheme, trying to keep away from Norton. Flash the counter-punching combination. Kenny Norton seems to be making his plan work. At least at this point in time, in the fight. Hold it, Kenny going down to the belly. Left. Young. And then Young came back with a counter-right. With all kinds of confidence, feeling young can hurt him. Young, more cautious than ever. Flicking left jab, ran around. Kenny, punched over. Working toward the belly again. And looking to go upstairs with his more powerful punches. is right. He is fighting a tactically sound fight, Kenny North. It's beginning to work out for him. But we're only in the sixth round. It's a scheduled 15 round. He picked off that right, Young did, of Norton's. We're going to stay with the fighters this time between rounds. And that's the end of round six. Jimmy Young seems to be feeling the impact of Norton's body blows. And Norton is beginning to get to Jimmy Young's head. As you look at Jimmy Young, they're working over him in the corner. He's getting instructions right now from Ray Kelly. Norton, in the meantime, is a different Kenny Norton from the first three rounds. What he seemed a confused, befuddled fighter. Kenny is standing, not even sitting in his chair. Waiting action in the seventh round. There have been no knockdowns, but once, once, in the fifth round, Norton came through with a crunching lift that connected on Young's right jaw, and you could see that Young was hurt. Young hung in there as he did against George Foreman when Foreman had him ready to go in the seventh round of their bout. Now the bell. Round seven. Out comes Kenny Norton. Taking its toll. Now a left to the belly. 
after that, hoping that Young's guard is down. Kenny comes upstairs. That left was picked off, though the crowd reacts. This fight scheduled for 15 rounds. Why the WBC use it as a possible championship fight? Having ordered Ali to fight, signed to fight the winner within 60 days. Ali says he won't do that. We'll see what happens in that regard. But right now, the fight. Seventh round action. Not a mark on Jimmy Young. Not even on the stomach. Oddly, one would think there'd be some wealth. Kenny, with two quick left jabs. Padilla breaks the fight. well on that exchange with the right. Kenny, perfect. Operating. Came in with two sticking left jabs, missed with the right. But Kenny, always the aggressor. Look at Kenny go after See the way that back foot always is lagging or in the bucket? But oddly, we haven't seen a lot of foot movement from Jimmy Young tonight. I suppose that was the surprise. Against Ali, danced on his toes. Full benefit of the ring. Only once tonight have we seen him walking away, moving away from Norton, and using the whole 20 feet of the ring effect. Again, seventh round action as we count down toward the end of the round. We'll follow Kenny Norton to his corner at the end of this round. Kenny getting those body blows in there still. Coming up. From Las Vegas, Nevada. While Norton has been scoring in the recent rounds, in truth, this has not been a great action fight. It's been a more interesting tactical fight. Now let's see if Young can start to come on, if there's any tiring by Norton. No, Kenny is pursuing. Kenny scored with a right to the belly. Kenny with a right lead that went nowhere. Getting the left in against Young. Kenny again to the midsection. He is really pummeling Jimmy's belly. He's not able to capitalize on them. And he must be feeling the effects of that punishment to the midsection. He has to. The shouting Jimmy Young supporters, Jimmy Young. There. He has Norton in the corner, but he's not getting through Norton's guard either. Quick flurry of combinations, but he didn't get through Norton's gloves. Kenny didn't disguise his battle plan. He said he was going to do exactly what he's doing. Keep working to that midsection as he did with that right. Again with the right. And again with the right. No head hunting by Kenny Norton. Only occasionally. Young going with the left. Counting down to the end of round eight. Hunched over, Kenny Norton not providing an open 
one target for Jimmy Young. Quite an effective. Coming to the end of round eight. Las Vegas, Nevada. An increasingly confident Kenny Norton, feeling he can't be hurt by Jimmy Young, executing his battle plan exactly as he perceived it, ripping Young with rights principally to the midsection, a left there, another left there, and then up with the left, and another long left to the midsection. It's hard to measure how Young feels under the impact of the punishment he has taken to the stomach in this fight. But the accumulative impact has to be, it seems to us, great. In the meantime, Norton, with that head tucked in against the chest, fighting from a crouch, is effectively preventing Jimmy Young from using his counter-punching style. There's Norton up to the head. in this round. Both fighters taking a breather in effect with their clinch. They're both beginning to feel a bit tired now. Good right lead by Norton. And the left got up to Young's nose. And Kenny goes back to working on the belt. Missing with the right, scoring, but only mildly with the left. Rather young. Young with a good right. Counting down to the end of round nine. Good left in there, and another by Nort. Now he's getting that left through the head, and he goes right back to the midsection with that right. Fighting a very intelligent fight and making it work. Round 10 underway. It's 11.30 in the east. Over most of those eastern stations, your local news will probably be coming up at the end of this fight. And it's been, as I said, an absorbing fight tactically. Kenny Norton. After three disappointing for him rounds in the very beginning, making his battle plan work to a nicer, leveling Jimmy Young with a, an attack to the midsection and gradually beginning to get to Jimmy Young's head, but really mauling Young with body punishment. At least that's the way we subjectively see this fight. Young right there with a good right lead and in the left. and Norton was hurt. There's another right. Jimmy Young, the aggressor now, and Norton feeling the impact. Now watch Young. This is where his astuteness as a boxer comes into play. Not to leave himself open, not to get reckless, but to pick the opponent apart if he can. Norton fighting back. Going right back to that midsection with his own right. But suddenly, Jimmy Young becomes the man scoring in this round. It is the tenth round. Again, Young with the right lead over Norton's left. Jimmy missed.
missing with the right. Padilla, third man in the ring, breaks the fighters. Young with a couple of left jabs that don't get through. Norton picks them off with his right. He's got his right up in front of his face, or at least his face tucked over that right. You see him cover. Crowd reacted to that, but they were mistaken. Tenth round action. Right there, Kenny with another right to the midsection. But in this round, with 45 seconds left, Young suddenly comes to life, completely dominant, hurting Norton with the right. Norton pawing with the left. Young's eyes look a little red, a little glazed. He certainly has fought a purposeful round here. Trying to keep Kenny off. Padilla keeps looking at Young's eyes very closely. We're going to follow Young back to his corner as the round ends. Call that round a Jimmy Young round. We want to look at his eyes. All right. Now watch Young. There's the right that got to Kenny. Then a left. Kenny felt that right. He was stung by it. And another right. And you saw the legs buckle just to touch. And so Young assumed command of that round. But Norton still doesn't even sit on his stool while they work over Jimmy Young. Carlos Padilla, the referee, observed the same exact thing that I did that there appeared to be a glazed look in Jimmy Young's eyes. And so he was watching him closely. Norton, on the other hand, appears still enormously confident. There's Jimmy Young, who appears a little bit tired. And why wouldn't he with the pounding he's taken to the midsection? From the fourth round through the ninth round, Kenny working on that midsection. But Young coming back in the tenth round. Quickly becoming aggressive. <laughs> Kenny having a little fun. Almost as if we're a piece of choreographer. Look at the smile on Kenny's face. Oh yes, he's the confident fighter now. This is the 11th round. Just shook his head as if to say, I don't understand it. I can't do with you what I want to do with you. Let's see if Kenny starts going back to the stomach. There's a segment of the crowd here that keeps chanting, Jimmy Young, Jimmy Young. of himself. That left got in there as you saw. Those Norton blows picked off. Young covering, but Norton must be scoring on grounds of aggression. Remember, 10-point must system. Scoring done by three judges, not by the referee.
Las Vegas, Nevada, 12th round coming up. Norton appearing to be the pressure, stronger fighter at this point, appearing to be. And yet Young had a good round in the 10th and may have been scored the winner of the 11th round. Subjective scoring is what governs a fight, and this could be a very close one since Young dominated in the first three rounds. Young went back slowly to his corner after the last round. Not there, right to the belly again. Young getting annoyed. Hit Norton on the break. No word from referee Padilla, however. Once Kenny Norton had a hypnotist. That was before his first fight against Ali. After that, when he broke Ali's jaw and beat him, he dropped the hip. Maybe he should have kept to hypnotize the officials on his next two fights against Ali. But not in need of a hypnotist now. And he covered well against Young's right with his own right hand up above his head. because Norton's body punches took so much out of him. You can't measure that from ringside. You'd have to be the man in the ring. I call a 20-foot ring a good-sized ring. Step into it sometime and see how small it seems. How do you ever escape the other man? Kenny looking to go back downstairs. This is the 13th round. Good heavyweights. Two men who knew their business. Two men who dream of becoming the heavyweight champion of the world. Two men, neither of whom Ali says he wants to fight. At least at this time, and that's what he told us tonight. And a young Ed Hunter. Kenny's blows picked off by Jimmy Young's right glove. Kenny Norton's blows picked off by Jimmy Young's right glove. Young scoring with the left. Again with the left. 13th round action. A minute, 15 seconds left in the round. Funny, Kenny has stopped going to the midsection with all the frequency and effectiveness he showed in the middle round. Kenny up to the head with two quick lefts. 
under the left eye. Norton appears substantially unmarked. Counting down to the end of a relatively uneventful round, the 13th round. Young tying Norton up effectively and himself trying to come back to the body. Way. We're back for the 14th round, coming to you live from Las Vegas, Nevada, Caesars Palace. It appears on the surface now with Young having a rally in the recent rounds to be a very close fight. We can't speak for the judges. You can score it for yourself at home. Young right there with a good left. And no knockdowns in this bout. Once I thought we might have one back in the fifth round when Norton scored with a crunching left to Young's right jaw. But no, Jimmy didn't go down. One point, Jimmy seemed a tired fighter with glazed eyes. But he's come back from that. In the middle rounds, Norton Oh, there's Young going down the midsection. The middle rounds, Norton belabored Young in to the stomach but seem to be taking a lot out of Young yet Young has come off better in the recent round made a comeback well, so it seems to us at ringside so it's a confusing fight to score as it almost always is when Jimmy Young is fighting Young was hurt by a Norton right to his side. I believe he was hurt. Oh, those blows have an impact. They affect your kidneys when they're on the sideline. But Jimmy right there with a flashing combination. Counter-punching effective. So it's up again and down again. This is the the schedule 15 round. Jimmy working on Norton's head. Norton without much of any movement at the moment. Appearing tired. Look at that. But Jimmy not capitalizing. Jimmy staying off. round and Jimmy Young is very much alive now the two touch now the two touch gloves the 15th and final round the issue so far as we can see in doubt to leave the officials with the memory of a big final round. That's what Norton failed to do in his last fight against Ali. And by the precepts of the referee that time, Arthur McKenney, that's what lost him the fight. So Kenny doesn't want to make that mistake again. He wants to dominate this final round, and he is punching. Covering up against the or Young covering up against the ropes, Norton punching away to the midsection the way he did in the middle round. Kenny wanting to leave a big impression. That was a low blow. There's a left and a right to the stomach, up to the head. 
Young just covered. Young not doing much fighting in this, the 15th and final round. I think Young was hurt by that succession of blows to the stomach. Kenny is really working this final round. Young substantially inactive so far in this round. Kenny drawing upon every last resource. He looked the part of a tired fighter. Now, Young suddenly connects to the head. He looked the part of a tired fighter in the 14th, but look at him now, throwing leather, wanting to clean up on Jimmy Young in the fight. But now Jimmy starts the counterpunch the way he so suddenly can and does. And he's there, he's got not gotten cover. The crowd on its feet, cheering now for Jimmy Young. And the other half of the crowd on its feet and cheering for Kenny Norton. And they both deserve all the credit in the world. One minute left to go in this fight. Basically fought tactically by Norton the way he wanted to. And now Jimmy Young is dominating the round. He's coming on in the second half of this round with his counterpuncher. And Norton's head the target. So, as I said, it's shifting tides and ebb and flow, and you've got to make your own judgment in the subjective scoring of a fight. That's what the judges will do. Less than a half minute left, and Jimmy Young throwing the punches. Now Kenny Norton coming back at him. We're counting down to the end of this bout. They are both tired now. Begins to clap and stand, and there will be an ovation for these two fighters as the fight ends. We await the decision. I turn it over to Chris Schenkel as I go into ring center to talk with the winner. All right, thank you very much, Howard. Good call of a fight that went. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a split decision. Judge Ray Balderu scores 147-143, Norton. Judge Art Lowry scores 144-142, Young. Judge Jim Rondu scores 147-143, Norton, the winner by a split decision. And so, Kenny Norton, Norton has won a split decision. Jimmy, Jimmy, I know how terribly disappointed you are. Now, I have Jimmy for a moment. I know how terribly disappointed you are. I dislike having to talk to you at such a moment. You felt you had it won, Jimmy. Yes, I did. He seemed to follow his battle plan to go to your midsection, Jimmy. All right, here are the two fighters. Well, congratulations to you, Kenny, on the victory. Jimmy, I want to congratulate you on a fine fight. Even though the decision on a split basis went against you, I think you proved all over again to the American people you've been one of the most underrated fighters of recent years. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. I don't want to bother you anymore. You're too disappointed. And so, Jimmy Young, the disappointed loser. Kenny Norton, the close split decision winner. Let's go back to Chris Schenkel at ringside. It's been an exciting tactical fight. It became an exciting action fight, too. Chris? Undoubtedly, one of the salient points, aggressiveness, won it for Norton. Travel arrangements made through in a promotional fee paid by United Airlines. This has been a presentation of ABC Sports, recognized around the world as the leader in sports television.